Welcome to Piggy Power, and today frequently asked question, what's better, D-Turbo or HDI? Hmm. Well, let's think about this. Do we want an HDI or do you want a D-Turbo? Let's be finickety about this, just like maybe you have been subject to a finickety a keyboard warrior on an owner's site. Because if you're asking D-Turbo HDI, uh, you're probably a 306 owner or someone that's had a 306 at some point in your life. Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3, they're determined by. And the D-Turbo, well, there's owner's clubs dedicated to the D-Turbo. But the D-Turbo, whilst it relates to the fuel type, you always have a diesel D-Turbo, unless, of course, engine swap. It doesn't relate to the type of engine. So let's be for Nicotee, just for this moment. A D-Turbo is a spec, like LX, GLX, GIA, Titanium, uh, Meridian. So actually, it's a spec. And it related to suspension, didn't really relate to brakes, trim, interior, that sort of thing. Just as all those other spec lists did as well. So the question we're really asking relates to these two pumps next to me and the engines they, used to, they fit, or used to fit. So the D-Turbo, they normally are talking about XUD. The XUD engine, the indirect diesel, 1.9 turbo diesel engine. Pretty famous in the Peugeot world. And these later ones, which were the two litre DW10s, uh, which slightly bigger displacement, direct injection, still heat valve. A high pressure fuel system, more of a low pressure fuel system. Mechanical, injection with laptops and keyboards and all the rest of it. So uh, take a look, there's a frequently asked question, maybe up there, maybe, oh, I can never remember if it's up there, I think it's up, gonna be up there. Frequently asked question um, about the differences between these two systems. But we're asking about the cars, or more closely related to the engines. You see there's a great following for the old XUD, the XD turbos engines. Uh, people love them, are oh, they easy to tune, you could just use a 13 mil spanner and a screwdriver and you've got more power. That's true, but ask many of those people that push the power boundaries, right to their limits, and they spend a lot of money, often fixing holes in their blocks, new pistons, etc. The later ones, well, you just download a map off the internet, and you've got loads more power. This seems a lot easier to me, and I like getting greasy. But which is better is completely subject. So there's no real answer to the question to this video. It seems a bit of a pointless question to me. It's just what you prefer. Do you prefer a jam on your toast, or marmite on your toast? Which is better? It's marmite, obviously. But if you don't like Marmite, or jam, well then that's going to relate to the question, isn't it? Or maybe you don't like toast. Maybe you don't like bread. Maybe you're gluten intolerant. Maybe you're vegan. Although both of those are vegan. Do you like cheese on your toast? Well, you can't have it if you're vegan, unless you had vegan cheese. Anyway, off the plot here. It's relative, isn't it? If you prefer the early cars with the early engines, just because the sound, uh, the fact that you can just tune them with spanners, you can just bolt stuff onto them, you can play with springs, well then that's fine. But if you prefer the later versions, a little bit more fuel efficient, I think they're slightly more reliable for tuning purposes, well then, go with those. Ultimately, the old stuff is getting phased out, so there's some nostalgic value to them as well. Hearing that diesel knock from an XUD, uh, as opposed to slightly quieter ones. But, you know, some people actually like coming to winter and cranking and cranking and waiting for that glow plug light to go out and getting excited about fitting glow plugs. It's kind of me a little bit. But sometimes you just want a daily, you just turn the key and just drive. Which is why these HDIs, these later ones, are great. Just to clear this up once and for all, D-Turbo is a spec, not an engine. Whilst it relates to the fuel that might go in such a spec, D, diesel, uh, really this is just a spec level. So you can get a later Phase 3 HDI D-Turbo. My Lemon is one of those, for instance. However, you can't get a HDI early D-Turbo, that'd be the XUDs. I don't know if I've made this clear yet, it's a spec, not an engine. So which is better? Well, that relates to the engine and your preference. But I'm curious, put down below, what do you prefer? Have you had both? And what experiences have you had in tuning both? Many people have tuned these to the point they blow up. What have you blown out more? An XUD, an HDI. What do you prefer working on? Is an H HDI easier to work on and service and look after? Or is the XUD easier to work on and service? I'll leave the comments to you. Thanks for watching this frequently asked question. Finally cleared it up. I've been asked dozens of times to do this video, and now it's done. Please subscribe. Please like my other videos. I 
play with stuff that's just a daily car, I do some frequently asked questions and I do a bunch of guides. So if you're here for Peugeots, which is quite likely, then my channel might be for you. So check it out. Got some merchandise, message me about that if you really want it. You don't have to, but I like it. So have a brew, have fun, stay safe, and what's better, a D-Turbo or an HDI? It's a spec level, not an engine. Also, comment below, is it HDI or HDI? <laughs> Keyboard warriors, here we go. HDI, HDI, H, 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 HDI. Or is it H-D-I? H-D-I. Is it H-D-I, HDI or HDI? You tell me. Yorkshire tea.